All right, what are we up to today? All right, today we are making our first trip up to Mount Bachelor. <laughs> 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 we're gonna bring this little beast with us in the pack. So we're going on our first, uh, I guess I'll call it skate ski, but first day out on the skinny skis. So we're doing kind of a mix. We're not going to one of the groomed areas in Bend. It's the Cascade Lakes Highway, which anyone who's been to Ben and ridden their bike, it's kind of the main loop around Mount Bachelor. But in the winter, it's groomed for snowmobilers. Um, and we're just going to go on our first winter adventure up there on the skate skis. <gasps> Time to go? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Of a pine cone. <laughs> a piece of a pine cone. Getting the Stevie workout? Oh my, my legs are burning so bad. Stevie! <sighs> Hi, baby! <sighs> hey, girl. I forget every year how much uphill that is. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> my legs are burning. Oh my god, it's so good we flip when we did. First ski. If we had got all the way down to Sparks, that would have been bad. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Good job, Bister. Good job, Bister. Day one. <laughs> Back into saddle. So talk about that a bit more. We had some comments off the last YouTube video about what you're changing with your training for gravel versus triathlon. So I think this workout specifically illustrates that, right? Um, what I'm changing. Um, to me, it illustrates that I'm not changing much. I used to do these workouts when I worked with Joe Gambles for three years, 16, 17, 18, I had great Ironman success. Um, it was more change of speed work on the bike, which is what I need for gravel next year. So working more on that, but um, getting back to that basically. In terms of the running, I'll do similar. I'll just maybe extend, um, some of my longer stuff a bit just for time on legs but still the same sort of work a lot of hills i'll keep in the speed work um i went into javelina off kona prep and i felt fitness wise and 
how that ultra trail run went, I felt prepared. So the main thing is not spending the hours driving to the pool, an hour and a half to two hours at the pool, the drive home can be spent on um, other things, strength work, maybe a second light jog, another session on the bike, um, but the quality work will remain similar. So, yeah. <laughs> what about the overall structure of how you're putting things together remains the same as well? I'm keeping the week the same. I think it's easy, like, okay, new focuses, like gravel riding, trail running, to just like, up the amount, up the volume, and I've done that before in my triathlon training. <laughs> I've also like not followed a weekly schedule before where when you and I were running our schedule and it can be so easy to like, okay, I can do more, 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 more is better, but it is, I have found for me in my years of training and racing, you still need to preemptively have recovery days built in, lighter days. Um, for me, that's always, or mostly been Mondays and Fridays. So Mondays and Fridays will remain easier, getting the body ready for three days hard, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then the bigger weekends as well. So we're keeping that structure um, the same. Nice. And what's um, what's the first race on the calendar? First race on the calendar is Black Canyon's Ultra Trail Run. It's a 100K race, 62 miles, uh, February 18th, 11 weeks from now. So I am focused on my running, but as well as my riding, I think a big part of my Havelina fitness was the cardio work, the everything I also do on the bike. So again, not changing much. Um, really right now is just about balancing the strength work that needs to get in now. Big gear, hills, um, as we head into the new year versus say like speed work, mile reps that we get into as you start to wanna get the speed up, peak for big races. So we are in the strength phase right now, but keeping the biking and running uh, for Black Canyons, in route to my biggest goals next year, which are unbound 200 mile gravel race and Western States 100 mile ra running race. Okay, we've got another interval session. Uh-huh, interval session. This is, is this number three? Since you've been back? Might be four, three or four. <sighs> yes. Intervals. I actually think these might be easier than last week's Russian steps or Boswell steps. <laughs> um, it's more about the quality of high power output. So today's is three rounds of eight by 20 seconders. So just sit right at that 20 second effort. 40 seconds recovery, eight of them in a row. So we're not doing 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, back down, sit right at that 20. Um, but really try to get high power output for the full 20 seconds quality. What are you shooting for on the power? <sighs> well, <laughs> this is what I need to work on. I don't have that high power output. <laughs> I could ride 
anywhere from 210 to 230 all day long on any given day. My sprinting is not much higher. So this is a series of building that high power output. I don't know what I can do for 20, maybe uh, three, 20-ish, I'm guessing, 320. I don't know, I'm not putting any gauge on it today, but we'll see how the 20s go today. And then it's a progression every week up to 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Trying to hold that as well. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Um, so each week will progress. So yeah, Ooh, this one, we'll see how 20 seconds go. ladder makes you like you can only give so much by the time you get to the 30 40 50 back down way back down you're spent that's more teaching you to push through lactate that's loaded up or the hydrogen that's built up these you don't really clear in the 40 seconds easy but you're expected to go way higher output and it's almost like harder to gather yourself and go all out again for 20 seconds. You get 40 seconds easy, spinning, go again all out like, whew. yeah, those are hard. What about ride stats? Ride stats. Wattage, heart rate. I mean. Any of the above, all of the above. <laughs> I did three rounds. The first round was by far the best. Uh, I think the first 20 seconders I held over 400, which is good for me, but that was for one of them. <laughs> and then they slowly went down, but it was higher than I would have guessed. It was like, yeah, 370, 360, 350, 340. And then the second two rounds, I think the first three or four would start around 340, 330 for 20 seconds. And then by the last four, I was down to like 310, 320-ish watts. Again, for 20 seconds. Spinning easy, I was spinning. Sometimes it felt like I wasn't even pedaling. I mean, 50 watts. Easy is easy. You can do these workouts not fully easy where you're trying to still hold like a solid push. But this, what we did today is super easy. Just, yeah, 50 watts. So basically three rounds of eight minutes. What about heart rate? My heart rate was, got up to max, like 156, 157, even just doing 20 seconds. I also think it was pretty hot in here, so heat's gonna make it go up. I was dying, I mean, you can see, I already sweat a lot, but. Yeah, overall, very hard session. What else you got for the rest of the day? Is um, that a wrap? No, I'm going to, well, it's super sunny out, which is good. I've been doing a workout, a running workout where 
It's steep hills up this butte near our house. And it's not so much the effort running up the hill as the pounding on the quads coming down. You don't even need to even really run down. It's so steep that you're almost just hiking down, but it's the eccentric loading on the quads. And you do three or four or five downhills. And it's like, yeah, I've been doing it. I've done it twice now, once a week. Just loads those quads. It's the type of eccentric loading that you get in the trail runs. Um, and so I'm just really trying to toughen up the quad muscles. So that's my plan. I walked over there yesterday with Stevie and there's snow on it, but I think it's doable. So I might take her and do four or five butte reps. Stevie, good girl, good girl. All right. Yeah, you're, kind of, you're here, you're with me. You're gonna check out the butte reps. I came out, you invited me <laughs> and here I am. Yeah, all right. So it's probably, it's less than a mile to where I do them. She has been a couple of times, so she knows the route, but. She meaning our dog. <laughs> the one running She's away. She's already on the trail. <laughs> so we will, you're gonna ride the fat bike over. Yeah. I will jog over. And then I'll probably do four to five times up. It takes me about three minutes to get up it and then uh, the point of the workout is more the downhills, just loading the quads, the eccentric loading. Um, I'm bringing these just in case the, the down could be a little tricky in the snow, but we'll see. Came yesterday and it seemed fine, but never know. Job. <clears throat> Tell you what, the snow is way deeper than last week. Whew. That's a strength workout. I can see the poles. My poles will be good. All right, how'd that go? Whew, so good. That was hard. Snow is way deeper this week. Uh, and I didn't ride first last week. I did this first. So my legs are like rubber. And that bike worked out in that. Five hills. Good. Cardio work on the way up and then the eccentric loading on the way down. But we had some people ask, yeah. what, what, after racing Havelina 100, the 100 mile trail run, what, what did you feel was harder? Or is there a comparison? I mean, I think I responded this to a couple of people asked me that. I'm coming from a background of racing Ironman for 15 years. So Ironman to me isn't, doesn't feel that hard anymore. Um, whereas my first hundred mile trail run, I had never done one. It was so hard. I was trying to remember back to my first Ironman. And if I felt that way, then 
And that would have been, I think 2008 in, at Ironman Malaysia. I think I was 19 years old. And I remember back then thinking that was the hardest thing I'd ever done. Um, so I think maybe it would relate to someone who is doing their first Ironman. <laughs> That's how it felt to me, how hard it was. Um, I think, yeah, physically the running was harder. It's hundred miles of running your quads, your legs. That's a different level of pain than cycling and swimming before running. So I think that hurt more, <laughs> but as a challenge for me as a first timer and then comparably to someone who's prepping, who's never done one, has trained swimming, biking and running, also hard, not having done it, that unknown ahead of you. Um, yeah, both difficult. For me, where I'm at in my career, the running was hard. <laughs> I didn't walk for, I think, a week. You had to help me. <laughs> but I also feel like I was there 2008, after my first Ironman. <laughs> Could barely walk. <laughs> so, yeah, comparable. <laughs> wow.